Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me start today's presentation on drought. Drought, crucial disaster in sub-Saharan Africa and community managed disaster risk reduction, CMDRR. Uh, today's agenda. Uh, first, uh, let me introduce a 2010-11 drought, one of the severest drought for the last 60 years in Horn of Africa. Uh, with this drought, uh, for example, in Kenya, 3.5 million of cattle and 2.5 million of goats were dead. The damage and loss of 2008-11 drought in Kenya have been estimated at, uh, you can imagine, uh, 12.1 billion US dollars. Uh, more than 3.7 million people in uh, arid land and the semi-arid lands in Kenya have been affected. Uh, this is the outline of the 2011 drought in Horn of Africa. 13, more than 13 million people were in urgent need of humanitarian aid, uh, requiring not only food assistance, but nutrition, health, water, and sanitation, as well as agriculture and livelihood interventions. What's happened in Kenya? Uh, what's happened in northern Kenya? As you may know, and of course, uh, Kenyan participants uh, may know, uh, Northern Kenya is the land for pastoralists, with pastoralism. Uh, this is ending drought emergency. What is ending drought emergency, so-called EDE? Uh, this is a uh, uh, humanitarian relief for the drought in Horn of Africa for the last few decades. As you may uh, notice, you see the uh, four humanitarian interventions unfortunately failed to reduce the number of people who suffer from the drought and the cost associated with attempts. 2011 humanitarian relief, the total cost of humanitarian relief was 427 million US dollars, but uh, even under such a circumstances, three, more than uh, nearly four million people affected by the drought. And the, after the drought occurred in 2011, uh, the government of Kenya convened summit on Horn of Africa crisis and compiled a so-called Nairobi strategy, which aims at ending drought emergency through uh, building sustainable livelihood in Horn of Africa. Uh, the conclusion, uh, main contents of this strategy is uh, importance of coordination among governments in Horn of Africa states and donor partners, and uh, strengthen that uh, seamless transition from humanitarian relief to development aid and enhancement of resilience were recognized important. So what we need in Horn of Africa for enhancement of resilience against drought is seamless transition from humanitarian relief to development so that we can enhance uh, disaster risk reduction resilience. Uh, then I'm going to introduce CMDRR approach in our project implemented in Northern Kenya. Our project has been implemented in Northern Kenya in Turukana and Marsabit counties. So what is CMDR approach? C in CMDRR approach, uh, for risk identification and planning of community-based activities. First, uh, we establish a disaster management committee, so-called so DMC. And uh, through, the, through this committee, 
uh, we try to prioritize the risks, hazards identified by the community. Then uh, based on the result of the uh, series of discussion uh, with these committees, uh, we, are, we formulated Community Action Plan, CAP. Uh, this is a scene of workshop. You can see the uh, Lendile, Lendile people uh, gathering for the workshop. And uh, through the workshop, uh, we made resource map, hazard maps, and uh, community action plan cap. What is the major risk for pastoral communities? And uh, through the workshop uh, of DMC, we identify the major risk of, for pastoral communities under the drought. Uh, that is, as you may know, uh, difficult access to water and pasture. Uh, difficult access to water and pasture uh, res uh, results in losses of livestock, and this is a major risk and hazard in pastoral communities in northern Kenya under drought. Uh, this is a figure, uh, sustainable resource management through uh, strategic water resource development. Uh, based on the results of discussion in the community's workshops and DMC, we try to uh, develop, we try to develop uh, water resources strategically for more sustainable resource management. You know, uh, for pastoralists, mobility, mobility is the most important factor for enhancement of uh, their resilience against drought. You see, uh, they are moving, they, are graze, they graze animals from one part to another part, another part to the another part. Uh, for, for pasture as well as water. However, when they reach to the, for example, the number four point, you see, under the drought, if they cannot find any pasture and any water resources, it means the end the end of livestock, losses of livestock. That is the serious, most serious situation for pastoralists in uh, northern Kenya. However, uh, if we develop new water resources strategically, based on the scientific data of water resource potential, They can find another loot, another loom of grazing. They can uh, increase the potential, uh, potential of pasture uh, utilization with new uh, development of water resources. So these are figures of water resources are developed uh, through our projects, water pans, uh, rock catchment and the uh, water wells. Uh, so we developed these uh, water resources for maximizing, for optimizing the uh, pasture, pasture resource utilization. Uh, this is the figures of water pans after compression of construction. Yeah. But uh, you see, I would like to uh, strengthen the importance of community's role. You see, not only, uh, I think we cannot be successful only by hardship, infrastructure uh, development and uh, maintenance, you see. We need community's support for operation and maintenance of those infrastructures like water pans, rock catchment. But you see, uh, under CMDR approach, 
on the CMDR approach, since you see communities members are involved in uh, even uh, planning stage, you see, they, uh, they started to have ownership for the infrastructures. And they do their operation and maintenance work by themselves, like uh, dish silting, like uh, collecting down, down of cattle, and even water management. See? So this is a this is conclusion uh, on advantage of community managed disaster risk reduction, CMDR approach. Through this approach, our communities understand the, the disaster risks by themselves. Then indigenous knowledge can be utilized in planning and implementation, like water management of uh, water pans uh, with uh, their traditional uh, administration way of management. And the most important thing is their ownership can be enhanced to realize sustainable operation and maintenance of facilities. Uh, in addition to that, uh, another finding lesson learned through this ECORAD project is uh, the, the best mixture, best mixture of scientific technology and their traditional indigenous uh, approach, knowledge is most important and can function well. You see, you can see the water resource potential map based on scientific research by Japanese experts. For example, the pink zone uh, means uh, uh, high potential zones for water resource uh, development, then yellow and blue. In addition to the scientific findings, uh, you see, uh, we try to utilize their pastoral with own indigenous knowledge. You see, they have their own roots of grazing, and they know where the pasture uh, remains even during the uh, dry, uh, drought, uh, dry season. For example, this uh, green, uh, green zone in the light, light figure means high potential zones for pastures. So we, are, we try to mix these two uh, findings, then identified, uh, you see, high potential area for new water development. Uh, you can see the red line link. Those are areas for, you see, promising uh, water uh, development areas to maximize the pastoral resource utilization. I think the, fin finally, I, I, I would like to, you see, emphasize again that the most crucial disaster in Sub-Saharan Africa is drought. And the same as earthquake, tsunami, typhoon, we cannot end the occurrence of drought itself. However, we can end drought emergencies through our new approach with CMDRR. Um, may I ask you any questions and comments? The community can use that point. And I would like if you comment on the issue of livestock concentration when you construct such water pond. There is the issue of degradation. So how do you relate this, the location, the extent of the pond, and these things? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, sir, very, for very good question. You see, you see, for the last few decades, unstrategical development of water resources led 
to the, you see, degradation of rangeland only around uh, water uh, resources. That's why we try to develop water resources strategically based on uh, scientific data on water uh, potential and migration, grazing uh, route by pastoralists. Thank you very much, sir.